take these four screws out that hold the big motor in there. And as someone pointed out on my last video, some areas, some people, some scrapyards will uh, <clears throat> call these motors transformers or they'll call these transformers motors. And when I say motors, I mean electric motors. They're the same thing, it's different terminology. that last screw out you can feel like the whole thing just drop out of there there it goes let's go down here these well, you could use your uh, power power tools for this make it a little quicker I'm so used to doing it like this I just just used to it so and over here I'm gonna have a safety screw, one of those star safe driver deals. And I, I don't even take the time to carry one of those to mess with it. I just go like this right here. Done, you know. It saves a lot of time. One less tool I gotta to carry around. And uh, this motor's actually got a little metal case on it. You don't see that very often. Ouch, well there it goes. That was on there. You don't see that very often. There it is, that big old dog right there. That thing weighs probably nine pounds, close to ten pounds. And uh, let's see if that's copper wire in there. See, that's all aluminum wire. So, that's not technically, that's not a copper motor. But uh, up here, you're going to find it's got the copper in there. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, see that? Well, that's all. That's aluminum wire in there, too. So every bit of that one there is uh, aluminum wire, which is going to decrease the value a little. Not a whole lot because some scrapyards will just give you aluminum breakage for that, and it's about the same price as a motor. So it's still a valuable little guy, you know. He weighs, he's so small and he weighs so much, you know. Now these guys here, some scrapyards will make you take them out of there. <clears throat> and it's just gonna be you know two screws sometimes three or four screws they come out of there pretty quick but uh this one's got a little extra little extra reinforcement i'm gonna have to get that out of there I'm messing out that magnetron. I meant to show you how to get them motors out of here quick. I started messing with that magnetron. Let me uh, cut all these wires out. They get a little handful of insulated copper out of them. Might be a half pound there. You know, you throw in the big, the big cord that I already took off this thing. And you got close to a pound of copper wire there. Number two insulated copper wire. And uh, I should have just messed with this magnetron last. Kind of messed up my deal, but I just wanted to show you how to get these motors out of here. It was my main focus. Got a little distracted, and you got this little guy here. Just clean him up real quick like that, and he just pops out of there. Throw that little bugger in there. With your motors. I have uh, about two or three screws out here holding this at 
second biggest motor in there. Most microwaves will have three or four motors. And all together they're going to weigh about 10 pounds, give or take a little. Just yank that dog out of there like that. And then uh, got two more screws. smooth spot to put your fingers right there on that copper wire and just that fan blade is going to hold it in a little bit I'll just go like that just yank that sucker out of there there you go it's a nice little motor and then uh, this will be your third motor in here it's the smallest one I'll just take the screwdriver get it in there in that little lip and just that thing over there and the whole board came with it that time but usually I can just pop that motor right off real quick you get to it eventually <laughs> maybe I've done this probably a thousand times first time I did it on camera so a little choppy, I suppose. There's the third little dude. And then, uh, now you have some more skibble scabble wires down in there that aren't gonna weigh nothing. And there's a little, uh, little capacitor in there. That little silver dude right there. And uh, all the scrap yards where I live, they just give in for that so I just leave it right where it's at and most of the scrap yards where I live you can just leave that that guy in there too but there's one scrap yard that uh, had the radiation from these set off a radio uh, radioactive detector at a, at a mill somewhere I saw they don't take them at all and to get to take microwaves to them you got to uh, actually I had that thing out of there I, <laughs> I should just yanked that thing out of there a long time ago. but uh take microwaves to them you got to uh, take this dude out of there so I, when I'm down in that area and I got a microwave I'll <clears throat> take this thing out real quick <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> danger high voltage but that's the technology behind a microwave right there them little dudes and some people say you can bust them open but I and get some copper stuff out of there but it looks like a lot of work to me for not very much money so I just take them to a scrap yard that accepts these and just throw them right in my tin pile with the rest of my tin so what I'll do with this microwave since I'm in between scrap yards I'll, I'll just put it right there with the rest of this tin all the tin that came out of there just throw it right in there which isn't very much tin, but I'm just throwing it in there. So that's what microwaves are good for. You know, you got a bunch of that little tin and, you know, uh, metal and stuff. You just pack up that microwave full of stuff, you know. It saves a lot of space. It's a handy little trick. There's another little piece right here. But, uh, that's it. You know, you can just take this back here like this, and, you know, you could even like save one of the screws and screw it back down into that hole if you really wanted to but I just go like this call it done all the goodies we got out of there we got big old dog medium dog little dog tiny dog handful of insulated wire of course I had previously taken off the the main cord so you know, there'd be almost, you know, probably like three quarters of a pound or so of number two insulated wire if I had that big cord in there. But, uh, you know, you can get in and out there in just a few minutes. That took me longer because I'm messing around with this camera and trying to explain stuff and fumbling with my fingers because I've never done it on film before. But, <laughs> yeah, I could, I could do that whole thing and get all that out in about 
three or four minutes, under five minutes for sure. But uh, every now and then you'll run into a microwave that is uh, manufactured a little different. Like that one there had that had that uh, tin covering around that bigger bigger electric motor, and that that's not usually there. So that made me fumble a little bit. But since I'm on a mo uh, motorcycle, yeah. spaces of the essence. I'll just for now. I'll just throw all that stuff in there. Just carry it just like that. Call it done.